is that included maps, numbers, history, reinforcing all the uh, points. And let me tell you if you are not in marketing, so why there was a map and why there were numbers. Men prefer graphs and women prefer numbers. <laughs> you can take it in any direction. <laughs> and finally, the conclusion was very well covered. You mentioned why some of the specific points that why we always consider Kashmir as a country and not exactly the way how we want to focus it on. I'm saying this because uh, my brother-in-law is an army and he explained to the Sendai concept that this concept has brought more value to the people out here. They understand that there is much more to the Kashmir, there is much more to the people, the culture out there than just what is being seen. I was quite moved by your entire speech. If I were to point out some minor recommendations, I would say a lot of emotions were required. Uh, probably uh, while you were delivering the speech, you could have said, how would you like if I call you Shri Lanka? You like that? Same as the state of the Evoke emotions. People get charged with that. However, saying that, the standpoint, and I would say a biggest learning for me in the speech was his usage of honor. His Royal Highness Maharaja Gulab Singh. We have very bad habit of saying that, okay, Bradman was playing good, or, you know, uh, President Abdul Kalam. They are all nominated at a greater stage. And it is our responsibility to honor them. So I am quite touched by that. You pointed out his Royal Highness, a very important factor in any speaker's life. With all said and done, I am elated that Kashmir is not a state and you are just not a speaker. You are a diamond for Bangladesh Masters Club. Keep shining and may we say it is the most beautiful.